All right, guys, big time wrestler, Nick Soriano, my favorite wrestler, actually. He's out for the Olympic trials, out for the Olympics. We're gonna be going over what exactly happened and the effect it has on his weight class. All right, guys, so basically what happened is, if you do not already know, uh, Soriano, he tested positive for COVID. A very uh, good wrestling source, Pat Minio, uh, very accurate about these things. He covers a lot of NJ wrestling news, but uh, basically stated that on Tuesday afternoon, he failed the first COVID test, um, just tested positive, and it's crazy. Um, it really does suck for him. There's a lot of drama surrounding a second test. We'll get to that later on in the video, but um, it sucks for Seriano. I mean, he's just been training for two years. He went down to Coach Zeke in, I, I believe, Arizona just to train freestyle this year uh, instead of competing in college. Um, missed out on two years of folk style college NCAA wrestling just to train for the trials. And when everybody thought he would make it with Spencer Lee being out, um, he gets positive for COVID. And it's crazy because he's been overseas for these USA wrestling tournaments. He's been to the Henry de Glane. He's been to the Matteo Pelicone. It's in like Rome. It's in France. All these overseas countries. And comes back. He's fine. He tests negative. And then two days before the biggest competition, he tests positive. So, I mean, it really does suck for Suriano, But... Now, as per the drama surrounding the second uh, test, basically what happened here is that Soriano will try to submit a second uh, test for COVID in case it was a false positive, um, but the USA Wrestling ended up kind of like denying that, not accepting the test. I'm not sure why they did that, I guess. Uh, if it was me, any, any other sporting uh, like association, I bet they would have taken the second test to make sure, or I don't know. I'm not really sure why they didn't take the second test. Uh, but wasn't able to get a second test, so that's that was basically it for him. I mean, he can't compete, and he's out, and it really shakes things up a lot in the 57 kg weight class, but, I mean, this really sucks for Suriano. USA Wrestling should have never let this happen. Of course, it is on Suriano for getting COVID, um, but it shouldn't happen in the first place. They should have had them in a bubble like the NBA, and they definitely should have them in a bubble um, like the Olympic, like after the Olympic trials, they should have that Olympic team in a bubble before Tokyo, at least a few weeks before Tokyo, so this stuff does not happen. For the effect it has on the 57 kg weight class at the Olympics, uh, first four seeds will stay the same though. Gilman, Fix, then uh, Ruzhao, and then Gross. Uh, Suriano, who was the five, he's out, so uh, I believe it's Joe Colon who's going to be moving up to the uh, five from the sixth seed. So basically, everybody under Seth Gross is going to be moving up one seed. I'll uh, we'll probably still see the same semifinal matchups between uh, Dayton Fix and Vito Ruzhao, but then instead of Thomas Gilman and Nick Suriano, probably will be Thomas Gilman versus Seth Gross. Um, but yeah, I mean, everybody in 57 cages right now probably having a sigh of relief with Suriano and Spencer Lee out. Uh, those guys are so they didn't fix man he's the most lucky guy we're not even competed since he had that drug suspension so he's definitely the most lucky guy Spencer Lee's gone Nick soriano has gone and he wouldn't have been able to compete but now he can as per uh, I mean a lot of people are thinking of having like final acts for Nick Soriano to wrestle off the winner of the trials uh, that's 99% not gonna happen uh, the only time they've had final acts was kind of like rematches for some spots on the world team and stuff like that but I mean, they're not going to have somebody, Nick Soriano, who is the five seed, really should have been seeded higher in my opinion, but he was the five seed, so I doubt they're just going to have, they're definitely not going to push back the trials anymore, um, and I doubt they'll have a final X for, for Nick Soriano, uh, even though that would be great, and I think he would kill whoever is the 57 kg representative, whoever wins out of this tournament, but uh, definitely will not happen. USA Wrestling does not like doing that stuff, putting on extra matches when they don't have to. Yeah, it's going to wrap up our video for today. Um, rest in peace, Suriano 2021, guys. Comment down, down below. Um, I really wish he wouldn't have gotten it. I thought he was going to kill this tournament. Uh, definitely would have made an Olympic team. Sucks for Suriano and Spencer Lee. Um, but yeah, that's life. Hopefully, we'll see them in 2024. Um, but yeah, it's Grab a Bar video for today. If you guys learned something new, make sure you subscribe. We got daily wrestling content. Um, but yeah, 